Hi, I'm Lance Vernon, Commercial Director for Alcotech. I'm here at Fabtech in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'd like to explain to you about our new NT aluminum wire. What NT stands for is new technology, and it's designed for the 5000 series. If you've done any aluminum welding at all, I'm sure you're aware of the problem with shaving generations with the 5000 series aluminum. Shavings build up primarily in the liner, but you also see them in the drive rolls, uh, at the contact tip, and what it does, it causes downtime and waste, uh, defects with burn backs, uh, contact tip life, liner life, and all that. Yeah, people have become accustomed to that with aluminum, and uh, we've worked on a project now for about two and a half years to eliminate that paradigm. No longer does a welder have to be uh, subjected to the buildup of shavings and the downtime associated with it. Again, our NT wire series which we have a patent pending on. Here's how shavings are generated. As the wire is fed through the liner, little flakes of aluminum break off that are generated during the wire drawing process. These flakes are very hard, they embed themselves in the liner, and as they begin to build up, they score the wire and create that little wire or hair-like shaving that you see. You can see here, we took a blow up of this here, and you can see the little black flakes and right there is where the shaving began to form, okay? Another thing that causes shavings is scuffs that you see on aluminum wire. The scuffs are from wire to wire uh, uh, scuffing or abrasions. And if you look closely, you can see that on this historical, this is what historically aluminum welding wires look like. That in turn turns into the, the shavings, the clog liner, I have a sample here, you can see this one uh, we've, we created in a laboratory, but it has all the shavings that are generated and it's, it's, it's totally plugged the liner and it's stopped the wire from feeding. You can see here what the historical in, uh, standard has been for aluminum welding wire. The, you see the surface scuffs, that's the same picture we looked at earlier. And here's the same wire made with our NT wire process. It's eliminated those abnormalities that you see on a historical, the micro fines, the surface scuffs and all that. It's cleaner, it's brighter, it's shinier, it's very visual, and it minimizes or eliminates the tendency for the wire to shave. We do tests at Alcotech to show this, and what we do is we wrap a mandrel, a liner around a mandrel twice, about a 14 inch mandrel, and feed about five pounds of wire through it. We then take that liner out and we push a plug through it to see how many shavings we've generated during that five pound, it's about a one hour test. You can see here's typically what you find, just like what you saw in the earlier picture, the dust and all that, you'll see the plug that we push through um, uh, in this sample too. And that over time is gonna build up and absolutely clog that liner after only five pounds. Here's that NT wire that you just saw, how we took that and you can see there is no flakes, no shavings, no nothing. Push that through the, plug, the liner and it comes out perfectly clean. So what we've, what we've created is a monetizing program to sit down with the customer and show them exactly what that saves them in downtime, in contact tip and liner savings, and how many more units they can produce a year without all the downtime associated with changing the contact tip, changing the liner, and all that. Uh, if you'd like more information, please contact your Elkatech or ESOB representative. Uh, they'll be happy to show you this and uh, provide you with some samples. Thank you.